For centuries, international shipping relied on wind power to get around the world. Today's fleet generally relies on heavy oil. But with the requirement to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, out of the trading fleet of 2019, which is some 60,000 vessels, it's worth noting that less than 1% used any form of alternative fuel. And that has got to change. Here at the headquarters of the United Nations International Maritime Organization, the IMO in London, during a remote session lasting seven days, a series of amendments were made to the IMO's International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships, better known as MARPOL, which will require every ship to be given a carbon intensity rating indicating its energy efficiency compared to its peers. The rating system is based on a ship's capacity to transport cargo, and the fuel consumed in order to transport that cargo. On that basis, a ship will be rated into five categories, A, B, C, D and E, where A is the best, C is the average. If you are rated as an E for one year or a D for three years, you will need to submit a plan of corrective actions so you can meet the C category. And then you will consume less fuel. In terms of uh, level of ambition, because we go by way of ambition. By 2030, we hope to cut it to 40% from shipping, transport work. And then by 2050, overall, we, we are looking at 70%. Uh, Critics regard the target set by the IMO as too low and too slow. But implementing such widespread changes while ensuring that no one is left behind cannot be done instantly. I think it is fair to say that we're behind schedule when it comes to the global transition towards zero emission shipping, far behind. But now we are speeding up and the momentum is now growing. We need to ensure that all parts of the world can take part in the global transition towards zero emission shipping, developed and developing countries. Island states like Vanuatu and the Solomon Islands are not only reliant on shipping, but their very existence is at risk from climate change. The Caribbean region also needs help to implement the new regulations, help that the IMO is keen to give. We're quite excited about the new amendments because, um, as you know, as a region, we're, we're more susceptible to climate change and we welcome deeper, more concrete action, more aggressive ambition and commitment with respect to decarbonizing shipping. In the next um, coming months, we, we've started a pilot project where we're going to do a port emissions inventory partnering with one of the most heavily industrialized ports in the Caribbean. So that's going to give us a very concrete insight and, and a demonstration of what can be achieved if we were to try to implement some of the toolkits that the IMO has implemented. Greener fuels, including hydrogen and sustainable biofuels, are one way of transforming the industry, but the mass adoption of those fuels could be decades away. Meanwhile, short-term solutions are being tested, and that knowledge is shared with IMO members via a major international project called Green Voyage 2050. Green Voyage 2050 is about assisting those countries who first would like to have a legal and policy system in place to domesticate the IMO convention at the national level. You build the capacity in the countries so they can have the national legislations. And the next step is for them to have access to technology demonstration. So we help them to identify the technology they want to demonstrate and we facilitate that and we provide funding, we bring partners to do that. The steps that the IMO have taken are part of a global consensus that requires governments and major shipping companies to work together to reduce the global fleet's carbon intensity and indeed the disparity between rich and poor countries who are going to have to implement those changes. Only time will tell if it's going to be enough. We are moving in the right direction, but what is most important is it's, it's a long path, but it's a common path as well. So we need to bring everybody along in this common path and, and need to respect everybody's views and taking it further. So it takes quite a bit of effort, but we are moving in the right direction.